welcome back my youtube family i'm your instructor my name is rashid in our last episode we built a comprehensive dashboard in excel using ai many of you have asked if we can use chat gpt with excel to simplify tasks even further the answer is yes in today's episode i will show you how to use chat gpt can help you complete tasks in excel much faster and easier all you need is excel and a chat gpt account so let's get started First, let's take a look at the data. In the sales sheet of our Excel file, we have the following columns region in A column, territory, then brand, actual date, retail, wholesale, and total sales, having the number of day at the end. Now we want to perform a task in another sheet called region sales. We need to sum up the sales for a specific region. The region name is in cell A3, and we want the total sales for that region to appear in cell B3. The formula we will use is called sum if sum if allows us to add up all the values that meet a certain condition so this is my task number one in these two lines you can see that you have a sales report in excel the sales sheet has different columns like region territory brand actual date retail wholesale total sales and day each row represent a different field. What you want to do in another sheet with the name of region sales, you want to calculate the total sales for a specific region and you have to calculate this sales in A3 cells. More you can see in this Excel sheet, this is my sales sheet that I already explained and this is my task sheet and here I have to calculate the sales of that specific region. So I'm going to copy my this task and I will paste it in chat. At GDP and I will ask from him that you need to make a sum if formula for this to calculate the original sales enter now I'm going to copy my this formula and I'm going to paste in my this b3 cell so now this is giving me the sales for that specific region this is giving me the sales from the columns of e if i will be visiting my this sales section this e section is for my retail sales but i want to calculate my these total sales so the grand number of the total sales is this 7910 i'm going back to my this region sales and i will replace this e with my g because my total sales are in g column so i'm going to press enter and now i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste my this formula here and now this is giving me the total sales of 7910 that's mean i have made this formula with the help of chat gpt similarly i'm going to my this territory sheet and here i have to calculate my territory wise sales so again i'm going to my task number two so this is my task number two here i have to calculate my territory sales instead of original sales so i'm going to copy my this task and i'm going to paste it in chat gpt enter I'm copying this formula and I'm pasting here in B3 cell. So now this is giving me my territory wise sales. Now I'm going to copy and I will paste it this formula on these cells. I'm going to press Ctrl Alt V. This dialog box will pop up and I have to paste my formulas. So I'm going to select this formulas enter so it has pasted the formulas here if i will select all of these cells now this is showing me this 7910 sales that's mean this formula is working fine now this is my task number three in my d3 cells i have to show the total of sales so simple this is my task number three here i want to sum values from the range of b3 to b43 so i'm going to copy my this task and i will request to chat gpt to make this formula for me and i'm going to copy this formula and i will paste it under this task number three so now this is giving me the sales of 7910 and if I will press F2, the editing mode, this is showing this formula starts from B3 and ended at B43. Now in the next task, I have to highlight the maximum number from my sales. So again, I'm going to copy my this task number 4. I want to get max value from the range of B3 to B43. Give me the Excel formula. So I'm copying it and in chat gpt i will paste it and i will copy this formula and i will paste it here 
So this is showing me that 951 is the maximum sales in that range. Now the task number 5 is I have to calculate the minimum sales from that range. So again this is my task number 5. I'm copying it. In my task number 5 I have to calculate the minimum number from that range. Enter and I will copy this formula and I will paste it here. So this is showing 0 0.001 that is the lowest number in this range. So this territory is with the lowest number of sales in that range. Thank you so much for watching. If this video made Excel easier for you, be sure to give up a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tutorials. Your feedback is incredibly valuable. So don't hesitate to share your thoughts or questions in the comment below. Let's make learning even better together. So I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.